Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss the various costs of managing inventory. So let's take a look. All right. Typically in accounting, you'll hear the phrase cost of, and then you insert a phrase here. Okay. Um, and you'll see a lot of those things listed on this slide. Beginning inventory, goods available for sale, goods purchased, ending inventory, goods sold. So you could insert the phrase costs of before any one of these phrases, and that would be a valid accounting term. Now, what do those terms mean? Well, let's talk about the general idea of how inventory works. And, and I'm going to talk first in terms of physical goods, then I'm going to talk in terms of the value of those goods or the thing we account for. So first up, let's talk in terms of physical goods. Um, when you start a business, you don't start with anything. You don't have any inventory for sale. Um, when you are a business that's been running for a while, from year to year, you might have some inventory left over at the end of one year that becomes beginning inventory for another year. So physically, in your warehouse, you're going to have either some beginning inventory, assuming you've been in operations for a while, or maybe zero beginning inventory if you're just starting business. To that inventory in your warehouse, you can buy more inventory and add to it. The combination of the inventory you start with and the inventory that you buy creates what's known as the goods available for sale. That's the inventory that is available for a customer to purchase from you. Now you think about it, that makes just the kind of sense, right? You have some, you buy some, that creates everything in your possession, which then customers have available to buy. From that point, either one of two things happens. Either a customer does indeed buy your good, in which case you don't have it anymore, or a customer doesn't buy your good, it goes back into the warehouse as your ending inventory, and that ending inventory then becomes the inventory you start with during the next period. You buy more, and the cycle keeps repeating. This is kind of the life cycle of inventory in a merchandising company. Now, where did this idea of cost of come from? Well, this is where the accounting kicks in. There's valuation that goes on. The inventory that you either start with, or if you have none, you have none, um, you paid something for it. And so we refer to that as the cost of your beginning inventory. What did you spend to get that inventory? What is it worth? When you buy new inventory, there's a cost to buying that, right? It costs you money. What is the cost of goods purchased? When you add the cost of your beginning inventory with the cost of your goods purchased, you get what's known as the cost of goods available for sale. In other words, what is the value of all these goods, not the quantity of them? Now, here's where it really matters. When you sell some of those goods, you're going to recognize an expense on your income statement. That expense is known as cost of goods sold, abbreviated COGS. This is an expense on your income statement representing of the units you sold, what did you originally pay for those units? What was the cost of the goods you sold? Because what happens is you collect revenue from your customer, but that's revenue. You have to subtract out the cost of what you sold the customer to ultimately determine the profit from the sale, what's known as gross profit. Anything that isn't purchased by customers, as I said, goes into ending inventory. So you have a cost of ending inventory, and that's the value of whatever you have left over, the value of the number of units that are still in your possession. That ending inventory goes on your balance sheet as an asset. Just like the cost of goods sold goes on your income statement as the expense for the period, the expense incurred because you gave up that inventory this period. That ending inventory is not only on, on this year's balance sheet, but it also becomes the starting point for next year's um, uh, uh, inventory ledger, which then ultimately leads to next year's balance sheet number as well. All right, so there are your five costs of inventory. Um, terminology you should definitely get used to, with one of the most important being this idea of cost of goods sold. All right, that's it for the cost of inventory. I hope you found this helpful. Hope you join me for another video.